Have you seen or used the new Facebook professional dashboard? It gives you a quick look at some of your page stats as well as some tips and resources to make your page better which we all know an optimized page is what helps to convert followers into website visitors, into leads, into customers at a faster rate. So today I wanna to walk through the new Facebook professional dashboard and what you as a business owner need to know about it. So let's start by showing you how to get to the Facebook professional dashboard. Go to your Facebook page and make sure you're viewing things as your page, not as your personal profile over here in the top right. Then on the left-hand menu, you should see professional dashboard. Click that and it'll take you to this page, which is your professional dashboard. Insights, management tools, and ad creation all in one place. Now let's walk through what the professional dashboard entails. First, you've got your page overview, which shows your post reach, post engagement, and new page likes in the last 28 days, as well as how many followers you have total. And if you don't know what the difference is between page likes and page followers, check out this video next. If you click see more insights, it'll take you to this page, which gives you further details about your top post, your audience, your Facebook and Instagram together, and so on. If we go back to the dashboard, we'll see that same top post information here too, with the option to boost the post if you want to get further reach on it. Below that, we have recent posts within the last 28 days where you can see post reach and engagement. And if you click see more, it takes you to all your recent posts where you can filter by date, reach or engagement and look at posts within the last 90, 28 or seven days. Then below the top post, we have the recent messages section. This is a good reminder to check and respond to your Facebook messages if you don't already do this in your everyday routine or don't have automated replies set up. Now I wanna scroll back for a second and look at the right hand side of this page. Starting with next steps, this section may look different for each of you watching depending on what you have and haven't done with your Facebook page yet. This section is Facebook's recommendations on what the next step should be for your page. For us, it says to get paid with ads on Reels and reach up to 178 more potential customers by boosting one of our top posts. So take a look at what your next steps are. They may not always be helpful or essential to what your immediate goals are, but they might be. You never know until you check them out. The section below that says to grow your audience, finish setting up your page, adding more details can help more people connect with you. It looks like for us, 10 of 13 steps are completed in setting up our page with drop downs outlining what we can do to finish setting up our business page. Now, again, not every single one of these needs to be completed, but if for you, it's only showing like three or four steps out of 13 are completed, you may wanna take a look at what your remaining steps are. You don't want your page to be missing important information like your contact information, your website URL, et cetera. And I'll link this video below too on how to optimize your Facebook bio for maximum results. Now, before we get into the last couple sections, first, let me mention really quickly that if you'd rather have professionals just handle all of your Facebook marketing for you from top to bottom, we do that for small businesses every single day. So I'll put our contact link below in case you're interested in learning more about that. All right, the next section is FAQs, answers to common questions about the new pages experience. So these are not the FAQs that you get from your customers. These are frequently asked questions Facebook gets about using Facebook pages. So if you're new to running your own Facebook page, definitely scroll through these and see if any of them match a question that you had. You can click on it and hopefully get your question answered, or if not, they have the Help Center link there for additional help. And then lastly, we have New Pages Guide. This section is almost like a little blog with Facebook how-tos and page guides. If you click See All, it says explore all the ways you can use the New Pages experience and get any answers to frequently asked questions. So again, the links and resources linked for you on this page may be a little different than what you see on my screen. You'll just have to click through there and find out. So if you're new to running your own Facebook page, or if you just haven't had good success with getting followers, turning followers into customers and so on, your professional dashboard could be a good troubleshooting tool for you. Please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more videos like these, and I will see you guys in the next episode.